The professional driver who accidentally killed six people during a charity car show last year has been sentenced to 18 months of probation. Australian drag racer Troy Critchley pleaded guilty to 28 misdemeanors, including reckless assault, as part of a deal to avoid jail time. He had been facing more serious felony charges of vehicular homicide. During a court hearing on Thursday, Critchley said he did not mean to hurt anyone and was only hoping to raise money for the nonprofit organization that sponsored the event. I ask for the family's forgiveness, prayers, and I will pray for your families and loved ones, and I will carry this event with me for the rest of my life. The deadly accident happened about 80 miles outside of Memphis. Critchley was demonstrating a tire-burning stunt when his car spun out of control and crashed into an unprotected crowd. Aside from the six people killed, 22 others were hurt, several of them seriously. It pains me greatly that those efforts ended in tragedy, the exact opposite of the intent of that day. Though this was an organised and authorised event, at the end of the day, safety precautions must be priority for all concerned. Some of the victims' families say city officials and the event organizers also need to be held responsible for what happened that day. None of the organizers in Selmer or anyone with the Cars for Kids group has been charged in the case. The crash did lead to an overhaul of parade permit rules. Now the mayor, along with Selmer's police and fire chiefs, must all sign off on every request. Cars for Kids did hold its annual charity festival this June, but they were denied a parade permit. Diane Kepley, The Associated Press.